Imagination is more important than knowledge, if we knew what it was we were doing, it would not be called research, would it? The most beautiful thing we can experience is the mysterious. It is the source of all true art and all science. People like us, who believe in physics, know that the distinction between past, present, and future is only a stubbornly persistent illusion. When forced to summarize the general theory of relativity in one sentence, time and space and gravitation have no separate existence from matter. As far as the laws of mathematics refer to reality, they are not certain, and as far as they are certain, they do not refer to reality. Science is a wonderful thing if one does not have to earn one's living in it. Strange is our situation here upon this earth. Each of us comes for a short visit, not knowing why, yet sometimes seeming to a divine purpose. There remains something subtle, intangible and inexplicable. Veneration for this force beyond anything that we can comprehend is my religion. Human beings, vegetables, or cosmic dust, we all dance to a mysterious tune intoned in the distance by an invisible player. Scientists were rated as great heretics by the church, but they were truly religious men because of their faith in the orderliness of the universe. The world is a dangerous place, not because of those who do evil, but because of those who look on and do nothing. The true value of a human being is determined primarily by the measure and the sense in which he has attained liberation from the self. America is today the hope of all honorable men who respect the rights of their fellow men and who believe in the principle of freedom and justice. Only two things are infinite, the universe and human stupidity and I'm not sure about the former. Once you can accept the universe's matter expanding into nothing that is something, wearing stripes with plaid comes easy. We know nothing at all. All our knowledge is but the knowledge of schoolchildren. The real nature of things we shall never know. You teach me baseball and I'll teach you relativity. No we must not you will learn about relativity faster than I learn baseball. Reading, after a certain age, diverts the mind too much from its creative pursuits. Any man who read too much and uses his own brain too little falls into lazy habits of thinking. The intuitive mind is a sacred gift and the rational mind is a faithful servant. We have created a society that honors the servant and has forgotten 